AFTV, oh, it's, it's a astonishing result in that game, Lee. 1-0 uh, up, a fantastic goal by Pepe. And then again, the same old mistakes from Arsenal um, in defence. And we not only... I mean, we was all getting upset because we thought it was a draw. They go on and win the game in the end. I mean, incredible. Everything about Arsenal and what's wrong about this football club was there in that 90 minutes. You know, I'm not, I'm not just going to blame the defence, the forwards missing chances. Brighton are in free fall before lockdown. They've not won a game since... Uh, they've not won a game this year. They've not won a game this year. Uh, along come Arsenal, that, that record goes out the window because for everything we're so weak in, everything we do, Brighton... Down the bottom, Robbie, they're struggling like anything. They've had three chances today and scored two goals. We've had six or seven chances. Not just a defence, but we score a great goal from Pepe, a great goal from Pepe. And then what, is, what you then ask is it to defend as a team and we capitulate. Not once, but twice. I looked at the goal today. Pepe scored a fantastic goal for us, absolutely fantastic. But then we've just given goal. We, we have to earn the right to score goals with, with, with class players or whatever. And then we just, you know. And the, the worst thing about it is the guy who scored the winning goal, Mope, is the same guy that injured. Um, Leno, I mean, what did yeah. you make of that? The injury to Leno. Leno looked very angry when he came off. He was pointing at Mope as if to say, you knew what you was doing. You know what I mean? You've deliberately. And, and he's probably going to be out for a while now. And that's probably been our best player this season, apart from maybe Abamia. Yeah, you know, listen, I didn't, th you know, I, he should probably not have gone for it. I don't think it's a malicious tackle. It's just unfortunate that he's, he's landed awkwardly. But that's just what it is for us, isn't it? You mm. know, we're just, you know, we, we might, well, I know we've got NHS on our shirts. We might as well be sponsored by them. You know what I mean? Because mm. we just keep getting injury after injury after injury. That's frustrating. We lost our best player now. Not only for this season. This season's an absolute washout as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, the top, yeah. top four. Well, not top good enough. Four, top four, forget that. Even fifth place now, even sixth place. No, no, no Europe this no year. Like, I mean, how, how far have Arsenal got to drop, Robbie, before someone's going to do something? You know, someone's going to come in and say, it's not just because those players out there today are not good enough. None of them. None of them are any good, like, you know, I mean, let's be honest. It's Brighton. You can't, you can't go to teams like Brighton and not win and lose. There's a mentality problem there. You know, like the full, like everybody's been shouting, oh, I've got to get Lacazette into the team. Like, what has he done today? Mm. Miss chance out of chance. You know, not good enough. Certainly not good enough. Midfield, no creativity whatsoever in it. And then you have to ask yourself, Arteta, oh, you know, you've got to ask him, you know, I mean, like, don't give him our long life. You know, you've got no creativity in the midfield. And there's the one player that has got the creativity, he's not there. You know, and then you're chasing it, you know, you're one one of a game and you think, right, you've got players on the bench that are going to come on to, to, to influence this game. He brings on Turney and Willock. Why are you changing the back three? Why are you changing the back four? Well, you, you know, there's just so many questions you've got to ask about today. I'm so frustrated by is it. That, like. Is that the end of the European hopes? That's it, gone. Got the Europa League football, gone. We keep like, you know, I mean, it doesn't matter about the money. We keep, we squat and squat. Where's Cedric Suarez today? Mm. Where is he? It's just, just not the manager. You know, we can criticise Arteta for his performances today. We can. But you've got to criticise the people that are recruiting these players because at the end of the day, they can't beat Brighton. You know, you know we're one team now, all the teams that have played from away from home at the moment have got something. We've had two, two hits at it and nothing. And the reason is, Robbie, because we just don't... We're not good enough mm. defensively as a unit. There's, there's two ways. A great side and good teams there. When you go 1-0 up, you go, right, this is our time now. This is our, this is our time to make sure we keep a clean sheet. But we just... We're like knife through butter. You know what I mean? Like, this is Brighton. What are good teams going to do to us? You know, I'm, I'm so frustrated, so frustrated. We've now lost Leno for a year, or it looks like a year. You know, and, and, and Robbie, you've got to say it now, and it, the, the, the owner has got to come in now and put some funds to this team. And he's got to, uh, if it was me, I wouldn't trust the recruitment people in there because they've got, to, they've got to spend £200 million to sort this out of players. That's what they've got to do 
to get this, this right, and it's got to be the right players. And then, you know, I'm, I'm going to give uh, Arteta a, a break at this moment in time because of, you know, mm. he's, 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 he's working with rubbish as far as I'm concerned. But I'm looking at him today and I'm thinking, like, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm worried for his sake as well. I really am. Football is back. Back again. Yeah. Oh, yeah. AFTV will be bringing you comprehensive coverage of every game from now until the end of the season. Football's number one narcissist is back. <laughs> back again. Hey. AFTV. Back again.